welcome back to my channel today we are making vegan chocolate chip cookies and um, i don't have any chocolate chips so we're using crushed dark chocolate excuse the state of me we're in lockdown again and i didn't want to do my makeup just for this video making cookies let's go so first i'm adding 128 grams of plain flour already measured it out because I needed to go and get more flour. Hey guys. I don't know when this clip is going to go in, but I just need to measure this flour out before. I've only got this much left, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Well, that was an absolute meltdown. I had to go to two shops for plain flour and dark chocolate for these cookies. I've got it I'm on the way home. And then a half a teaspoon, I need a teaspoon, teaspoon of baking powder. Now this is not very crushed up. I might have a bit on. This one might be there. Half a teaspoon. I didn't know where to put you by the way, so you're just standing on my spaghetti holder. Half a teaspoon. Alright. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I don't really agree with putting salt in baking things, but I'm just gonna Put a tiny bit in because it tells them to. 50 grams of sugar. I'm mixing all the dry ingredients first because that's what it's going to do. 50 grams of sugar. Boom. I've just mopped the floors and just got sugar in there. Then. 55 grams of brown sugar. I think you can use any brown sugar, but I always use light brown sugar. <gasps> that was way too much. Damn it. Take some of that. Shit. That's about right. We're not exact here. Just throw it all in. Brown sugar going in. Cancel the dry ingredient. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna put chocolate chips until the end. So now, I'll show you. We're gonna mix all these ingredients up. <laughs> not high enough, but it's fine. Um, if you didn't know, if you haven't watched my vlogs, I'm doing the January. So I thought this would be a good midweek video to include. I was gonna do trying fast food, vegan fast food, but um, Sav isn't here and Sav wants to do that video with me, so I'm just waiting for her to do that one. Mixing it up. Okay, so now we're gonna add the wet ingredients which is two tablespoons of any dairy-free milk. I'm gonna use oat milk. I was gonna use hazelnut milk because it's creamier, but um, I didn't wanna add that nutty flavor to it. So I'm using oat milk. You can use soy milk, almond milk, any kind of milk alternatives. I don't have a tablespoon, so I'm using a dessert spoon. We'll just wing it. And then two tablespoons of oil. I'm using sunflower oil. This is usually to um, in place of butter. I know that there's a few recipes where you can use um, vegan butter. But I didn't have any and I wanted this to be easy and so you can do it and not have to go out and buy those different things. And then a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. 
I don't really know what water is. Say about that. The mine. Why not? Then I'm gonna mix all that up. Should start to look like this. Um, just make sure all the ingredients. Oh, just make sure all the ingredients are mixed in properly. Um, and then we're gonna make it into one big ball when it's all properly mixed in. Don't know why I'm using this spatula. It's not a very good utensil to use. But anyway, then we're gonna. I've washed my hands. Don't worry. Um, we're gonna get this into one big ball. One big dough ball. Oh, I've not got chocolate in. Chop your chocolate up, don't forget that. I'm using dark chocolate because it's vegan. Obviously, if you don't want to make them vegan, you can use chocolate chips, but they don't have any dark chocolate chips in the shop. Yeah, I mean, a bit more than, I've put a bit more than half in, but. Chop this up into like, Chunk-ish pieces. Should look something like this. And then I'm gonna put all this in there. Obviously it's loads easier to use chocolate chips, but I didn't have any, so. Big bowl of cookie dough. <laughs> and then you can refrigerate this for two hours, or I'm just gonna put it in the freezer for half an hour, just until it's cold. This is what it looks like. Right, now this is going in the freezer for half an hour. Don't ask me why you have to do this. I've got no idea. Um, I think it just keeps them like a bit more firm before they go in to the oven. Whilst I am waiting for that in the freezer, I am going to put the oven on to 160 degrees if you've got a fan oven. Don't know what it is if you haven't. I'm going to line a baking tray with some baking paper. This recipe should make, it says 11 to 14 cookies. But obviously, if you want to make more than that, you can do however many batches you want. But they should all fit on this one tray. See you soon. It's coming out the freezer. You can just use your hands for this part and just pull pieces off. But I'm going to use an ice cream scoop, I think. I'll see how easy it is. I'm just going to use this because I can oh let's not do that <laughs> because it just makes it easier to like cut chunks off um they only need to be like small balls so i'm just like taking a bit off and then i'm gonna roll it into smaller balls like that and just place them on the baking sheet so they should look like this on your thing i'm just gonna do the rest and then I'll pop them in the oven. So you should end up with something that looks like this. Completely clean bowl because it should all stick together really well. These are gonna go in the oven. Oven? <laughs> These are gonna go in the oven for 11 minutes. And they should be done. I actually managed to get 12 out of this mixture. Probably gonna them a little smaller than they should have been. <laughs> no oven. Oh my God, they better look nice. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I don't know how to get this out. So apparently they're still meant to be like a bit raw, but then once you take them out and let them, wait, let me just get them out. When you take them out after 11 minutes, they are meant to look and feel a bit raw still, but I'm gonna leave them on here to cool down for 10 minutes and that will just allow them to firm up a bit um, so don't be worried if you think that they still look like they need some more time in the oven they probably don't 
um, cookies usually come out and then they firm up a lot more. So it's always good to leave them in for less time than more. Um, but yeah, I will let you know when they've cooled down and we will try them. So it's been 10 minutes now and they're like pretty much cool, they're still a bit warm. So I'm just taking them off the baking sheet, all the chocolate's still melted everywhere. Um, but I'm going to try them. Mm. <laughs> no, so good. I'm not really a massive fan of dark chocolate, so I kind of wish I'd not put as much in there. But they're still really nice and they're firmed up a bit. And they're still kind of a bit gooey, they're kind of like... If you've tried Millie's cookies from Meadowhall, oh I don't know where else you can get them, but if you've tried Millie's cookies, they're like kind of like that, but vegan. And they're so nice. It's like the easiest recipe to make, it's the quickest recipe to do. There's hardly any mess because there's no like dairy involved in the mixture. Um so an amazing alternative and literally didn't even take 20 minutes to make and cook. So I'll put the recipe below for everyone and I hope to see you in my next video. There's a blog coming on Sunday. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.